Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Dragon Loon and we are back in Sim Airport. Uh, last time we had uh, expanded our airport to where we were able to move the ticketing area and uh, security area down below the airport, uh, which allowed us to expand it out a lot. We also got the planning at least for our baggage handling area set up. Um, as well as the planning for some large uh, aircraft stands and uh, expanding out our runway. Now, I uh, previously tried recording this episode, uh, but my computer decided to be a little butt and uh, not work properly. And while I was waiting for some money, because this expansion down here is going to take uh, about $700,000, um... I realized if we were to expand the runway out this way, we would need taxiways to come out here. Well, we can't put a taxiway right here because we have the terminal. So we will oops, will not be able to actually expand the runway out quite that far. We can only expand it out. To right there which means that we're going to have to expand the runway out this on this way to get where we need to and in order to do that we need to unlock some technology and that is uh, that is I cannot find it right now Ah, there it is. Land expansion. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start this. And I'm also going to uh, let the game run for a while and uh, get some moolah so that we can start expanding out. Because that is our game plan for today. To get at least two of the um, large aircraft stands right here set up so that we can uh, double the number of flights that we're bringing in each day. So, see you in just a second. All right, everybody. So, um, I was sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting, and it got to, uh, got to a point where I did something that I generally try never to do, and that is I took out a loan. Um, that was because it's going to be quite a lot that we are going to need to spend. So I went ahead and I extended out the bottom area of our uh, terminal to uh, be able to put in uh, two of the large aircraft stands, or as I term them, medium because it's small, large, and extra large is the sizes. Uh, but I extended it out for two of those, and I extended out the top, or the second floor, to those two as well. The reason that we need this second floor is because the large aircraft stands are only accessible from the top floor. Uh, I also went ahead and mo um, put in a couple of these moving walkways, just to get passengers down to this area a lot quicker. So, what we need to do next is we need to go into our construction and dismantle this wall. And then we need to go down to our flooring, and it is stone 7A. And we are going to throw that down and let those build. And while that's building, we can go into our objects, grab our large aircraft stand, and rotate that around. Now, you can't put anything on as far as like stands on the second floor. You have to go down to the ground floor. So we'll put in one and a two. Now, if you see here, there's these purple or excuse me, pink uh, lines right here. I put those in as well as these blue lines because this is where we're going to be putting in our fuel system. And once we get these aircraft stands up and running, we'll get into that over here this is going to be our hangar space for our vehicles such as fuel trucks and 
baggage carts. And this is our baggage uh, drop off and pick up for our aircraft side. So up here, what we want to do on the second floor is we want to grab a large sliding door and put that down right there in front of each of the access doors. Uh, unfortunately, we can't put anything else down because it's still um, they're still working on the flooring. So let me get that done, and I'll bring it right, right back. All right. So they got the flooring done. Although I did realize that we put in the wrong flooring over here. Eh, it's okay. It will do. So what we need to do now is we need to grab our gate agent desks now each one of these stands needs two gate agents so what i like to do is i like to put one off to one side and the other one off to the other side and then we're going to need some cues we're actually going to start those out there this time Okay, and now we need some seating, and now we need to assign these to here, and we need to assign them to the um, stands, aircraft stands, sorry, couldn't think for a second. All right, and we're going to say change that to terminal B as well, and we're going to assign those to that. And we'll assign those to the queues as well. All right, and those are ready to go. So let's go into our flight manager, get some flights going. Although, we actually need to do one other thing before we can truly start using those large stands. And that is, expand out the runway. Oh! And add some taxiways. Because, yeah, uh, that's a thing. Alright, so, let me get that done. And I will be... We'll be right back. Alright, so we got that runway extended a little bit. And as you can see, we still cannot accept the large aircrafts like the 767 and the 707 because we need a runway of at least 150 units, I think it says. And this is only 112 tiles. So can we make it 150? No, we cannot. It... Well, we could, but it would butt right up against the edge, and it won't allow us to do that. So. Maybe it will. Hmm. Will that work? I wonder. Oh, look at that. It does work. Haha, <laughs> imagine that. All right, so let's clear this planning here. And we'll clear this planning here. Like that. All right. So now that we have those going let's get some flights going in there although first what we need to take care of if you notice and where is it um this right here this is a little golf cart that is bringing baggage from the ticketing counters over to the terminals 
so it has to go all the way around. To fix that, we need to put in our baggage system. So, the way we solve that is we go utility and we're going to do a baggage hub. Well, let's start with the foundations first. All right, so we got the foundations in. Now what we need to do is we need our baggage depot and we are going to We'll put it up like that. Ooh, I think I miscalculated some things. Oh, no, that's that's fine. All right, uh, then we'll grab our baggage hubs and we need to make sure that it is orientated correctly. So we'll put one right there and we'll rotate it around and put one right there and one right there and then we'll rotate them around again put one right there rotate put one right there and rotate and put one right there grab our two-way conveyors and connect all of those up and run out of money all right folks so um we're running into a bit of a problem with uh, money. Uh, what I should have done first, before expanding, was set up the baggage system. Because, yeah, um, we're not able to get these aircraft out in a timely manner. We're having canceled uh, flights and everything like that. Late and delayed flights. So, um, what I ended up having to do was I went ahead and, uh, scheduled, uh, filled up, um, uh, the, uh, two large gates with some flights to try and get some more flights in so that we can get some more money. So that we can try and repay that 25 or $2.5 million loan to reduce some of the interest rate because right now... We are paying, if we look at our P&L, or profit and loss statement, we are paying uh, just under $100,000 a day in interest. And unfortunately, um, the only thing that is automatically paid is interest. We still owe all $2.5 million of that principal. And as you can see, if we try and accept another one, oh, well, that one's only 31% before it was a 50% interest, which is really, really bad. So, yeah, I need to get some more cash. Huh. Well, hopefully it will start coming in. Uh, let's take a look. At our ch uh, transport capacity. Wow, we do not have enough transport capacity. So, what we need to do is go into transport and delivery, change the buses from every 30 minutes to every 15 minutes, and that's pretty close. Yeah, we should have enough. We'll have to see. Might need to add in the light rail, but that means that we need to res research the light rail, which we can't do right now because we don't have any money. So, let's see. We... We'll just have to see what's going on. Ah, uh, and our first big aircraft has finally come in. Look at all those tasty, tasty, money grubby passengers. Mmm, money. Alright, and so now that we are starting to get a little bit of cash in, let me 
get the baggage system uh, set up as quick as I possibly can so that we can start repaying our loan and start getting the uh, perfect ops bonus again because, yeah, that's hurting us. All right, so we've got the baggage system set up except for one thing. We don't have any baggage trucks. So we need to go to structures and we want the medium hanger because that is all that can fit right here. So we're going to squeeze it down as far as it will go and place it there and we'll place down two. And now that we have one, let's add a couple of baggage trucks. Like so. Now we need to assign this to all four gates. Just like that. And now, now, finally, our baggage system is working, and maybe we can start repaying some money. Speaking of which, we are going to repay a bunch. All right. Wow, that is a lot of red for delayed aircraft simply because of baggage. So, let's see how tomorrow does. See you in just a second. Ah, sweet green numbers. Sweet, sweet green numbers. Such a glorious sight to see. All right, folks, look at that. We've got our perfect ops bonus with 36 flights. Which means that our very first time is uh, $7,200, and it will only go up from there. I think it's multiplied by two each time? Don't know. We'll find out. Maybe. So, what we need to do now is pay off the loan. We still owe 2.2 .2 million dollars. Because we're paying 83,000 dollars a day in interest. And as you can see, our, our bank balance, not all that great. And if we don't get it up above the red in 44 hours, game hours that is, uh, we'll lose not good so uh let me take care of that and we'll be right back all right folks and with that payment there we are now officially under one million dollars of outstanding loan payments uh i had been uh if we go back here to our p l statements i had been doing about two hundred thousand dollar repayments uh each day uh, which allowed me to get it down without going into the red or into the negative for too long. So, just to recap, we have got our baggage handling system set up. We have our second floor expanded with two large aircraft stands and a full flight plan. And uh, what I went ahead and did was I uh, researched some lower income tax just to save us a little bit more money. Uh, I also got upgraded buses, which allows us to carry more passengers per bus. And I researched fuel ports. And what I'm doing right now is researching multi-lane. 
Because what we're going to do once we have the multi-lane is we're going to push all of these back to block thingies. Add a second lane. We might. I might just leave that one lane until right here where we then uh, do a little offshoot of a second lane so that we can add in our fuel depot and that is going to not only be a lot of money to implement but a lot of money to get full but it comes with a decent amount of uh, profit along with it um so yeah looks like things are going pretty good i uh, did a little bit of searching around and in order to unlock the really early am what we need to do is we need to finish the airline services grant so in order to do that we need to have at least one rep for three airlines have 12 flights scheduled and have a runway with a wind resistance of 15 knots well our runway has a wind resistance of 20 knots we um definitely have more than 12 flights the only thing we don't have yet to be able to uh, uh finish tier one of this is the uh sales reps for three airlines we'll get to that in a little bit tier two would mean that we need to have 10 planes with an out uh loaded with an out and functioning outdoor baggage system well we now have that and we have 36 planes being loaded with uh outdoor baggage system uh we also need two large or extra large aircraft gates uh, two large aircraft gates right there and an overall airline interest of 70 percent now we only have 56 percent right now and uh let's see if we read here it says airline interest is based on price sensitivity passenger satisfaction airport function uh facilities and more uh work hard for access to the best airlines or face having offers renamed so in order to do uh, improve that we need to not there uh, come in here to our um, commercial pricing and drop this down a bit. Now, I bumped this up to facilitate allowing us to earn money quicker to repay the loan. Uh, once we have the loan fully repaid, what I'll do is I'll, I will drop this down and that will start increasing this. Also, what we need to do is get more facilities, such as food, drink, snacks, um, shopping, that type of stuff in here to improve our passenger satisfaction as well as our airlines. Uh, and then once we're able to get that up there, then Tier 3, which unlocks the early AM flights, is service 10 planes with functioning fuel system, which we're working on and negotiate and assign 10 offices to airline uh, to an airlines which means we need to expand our offices here which it's lucky that we have this nice expansion right here that we can expand offices into so i think we'll do that next time we've gotten pretty far this time uh so far in fact that i can go in here and Pay off another thousand or hundred thousand dollars. Ah, all right. So, if you found this educational, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what I might be able to do to improve the flow of things, let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the content, make sure to leave me a like, as it does help the YouTube algorithm with these uh, videos. Until next time, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more awesome content. And until next time, stay frosty out there.